Good morning and happy Friday. This is Carrie Sparks with Pioneer Title, your Arizona go-to gal for title insurance. Um, welcome to Friday. I think some of us are, even though it was a short week, it's just good to be here. So um, I've got some great people on uh, joining us today to talk about the issue, very sensitive issue of divorce and how it relates to the housing industry. Um, I've got some really exciting things things coming up today as well as next week that I want to let everybody know about. Um, today I have a presentation later this morning. It will be live. Um, also with Lister Assister, they're going to talk with uh, realtors, loan officers on how to increase their visibility and hopefully get homes sold faster. And even in our hot, hot housing market, it's hard to believe how much faster, but we're going to talk about virtual tours and things like that, that really will help people um, that maybe are a little hesitant to be able to get inside some of the homes that are available on the market in the uh, Maricopa County market. By the way, Lister Sister is in uh, areas across the state. So it's gonna be interesting for other, other people, even uh, loan officers, realtors down in the Tucson market or Flagstaff where they also have presence. Um, I have a 1031 exchange class coming up next week. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be a short workshop, 30 minutes or so with a really great guy. Um, that's going to talk about the changes and you always want to be updated on all the new regulations and stuff uh, when it comes to 1031 exchange. And then next Wednesday afternoon, I'm super excited to have Daryl Turner, the Daryl Turner, come on Facebook Live. He is the number one coach nationally that coaches title and escrow professionals as well as he also coaches realtors and loan officers. So um, all of it's Facebook Live, available to anybody. If you want the Zoom links to actually participate, just give me a, a call or send me an email. I can be reached at 602-715-5704. Um, again, we're here on Friday, every Friday, with Suzanne Soderberg from Benchmark. And uh, Suzanne, do you want to kind of take it over, give your, um, your licensing information, and do not forget your phone number. <laughs> I know. I always forget that. Suzanne Soderberg with Benchmark Mortgage, my license number NMLS 501875. Um, and I'm housed in Scottsdale, Arizona, but I work all over um, the state and I also have licensing in many other states as well. So don't ever, you know, if you have anything anywhere, just always feel free to reach out to me at 602-206-3439. And I've been doing lending um, in my 23rd year right now. And seems like just yesterday when I started, but it's an every, as Carrie said, it's everything changing and you got to stay up with everything. So um, just kind of keeping up with all, all the different lending programs. Can you um, talk a little bit about your certification as it relates to mortgages? Yep. So I was going to say, because I, what I did last year is I got a designation as a certified um, divorce lending professional, CBLP. So I bring that into my practice by being a financial neutral for people that and getting them set up for financing down the line and, and just having them come in and chit chatting with me. And so I can have them lay out everything that they're, you know, what they're planning on, you know, getting or asking within the divorce. Um, and so I can have them structured and, you know, qualify them if they're going to be refinancing the, the marital home or they're wanting to be purchased after, you know, the divorce is finalized or what have you. I just want them to know where they stand. That's, that's and, awesome. Did yeah. you, I know that we talked before um, we went went live that um, I saw yesterday morning on uh, one of our local uh, Phoenix stations, they were reporting what we had been anticipating that now as we come out of, you know, COVID-19, that we're post COVID-19, which I like better than your new normal, um, that they are seeing the divorce filings rise. And so getting the information on what, you're, what you need to consider, um, you need to call a, a lending professional, someone who specializes. Um, Suzanne, you're, you're an option. And I know that you'll put your uh, information below the video when we're done. And by the way, all these videos that we're doing, they're all being loaded onto my, fa uh, my YouTube channel. So if you want to search me on YouTube, just Carrie Sparks. Um, you'll see all the videos that Suzanne has done over the last uh, little over a month that we've been doing this. And uh, so you have access to all the, the you know, at will, um, or you can always give her a call. But Suzanne invited a special person on today. Do you want to introduce her? I did. I'm inviting a Heidi Thompson. We had met at a, um, a networking function, and we've just, we kind of clicked. She um, is a um, 
an estate attorney and um, I'll have her talk about that, but we just kind of collaborated in the divorce field and we've brought realtors in and, and her and just trying to find a way to get the, the word out about mortgages, about mortgages, about the divorce and all the different aspects of it with diff the different um, fields. So Heidi, I would love it if you would tell them about your expertise and about you and et cetera, et cetera. Well, thank you so much, Suzanne. It's, and thank you, Carrie, for having me here this morning. I'm Heidi Thompson, your legacy lifeguard with Lifeguarding Legacies. I'm an estate planning attorney. And so I help people to take the things that they've worked to achieve and pass those on to the people they love and the causes they care about. That's really kind of the, the key of, of everything I do. And in the divorce arena, you know, people are really starting over. They've worked all these years to build something together and now it's, it has to be separated out and they have to figure out what they're doing next. And I'm kind of, I call myself the, the caboose of the divorce train. I'm kind of the last stop, right? After you've met with your realtor, you've figured out your home, you've done your financing on that, you've, you've set up your new retirement plans, you've taken all your, your previous spouse off your beneficiary statements with your 401k and your advisor, you, you, you've changed all your insurance policies. Now, now it's time to come see me because now it's time to create a new estate plan. In terms of real estate, that's also important because your deed needed to change. Let's say you kept the family home and, um, and, and you were able to get that in the settlement. And it was owned, of course, as community property with right of survivorship. And, and now basically that has to be redone. Otherwise he's getting it back if something happens to you and that's probably not the real plan. So at this point, um, it's time to think about who you want to have the house if something happens to you. And there's a couple ways that you can do that. The easy, cheap way is to do a beneficiary deed. That's something I can help people with, that, with very inexpensively. And it basically just passes the house to children or family members that you would want it to pass to if something were to happen to you. What you don't wanna do is have it just titled in your own name, because if it's got $100,000 in equity, which is pretty easy to do the way that real estate's rising around here. Um, it's a probate asset. And that means that your family's gonna have to go to court and deal with a bunch of issues and expense and time and lawyers. And we don't wanna have to do that. I try to keep people away from having to see other lawyers, <laughs> which sounds kind of crazy, but you know, you've already had the divorce lawyer, you know how expensive that is. It's time now to, to uh, prevent that. So beneficiary deeds, I, I'm, I'm t I kid you not, in and out the door for under 250 bucks most places. So um, definitely your most inexpensive alter alternative to get that house to the people you care about. The other option is to really consider, especially if you have significant assets, doing a trust. Um, you've probably heard, all, you can't just give your house in a will. That can state your intent, but it's still gonna have to go through a probate process if you're trying to just give your house in a will. However, you can actually title your home in the name of a trust and pass it that way. What's nice about that is then, let's say you've got minor kids and your intent is that the kids would inherit this, but you can't really give them a deed now because they're a minor. In a trust, you can pass that to your kids and the trustees can have control over that during the time that your kids are growing up and getting all of that settled. It can also allow you to have some control. Let's say, um, let's say you have concerns about your kids making some bad choices as an adult, a trust allows you a certain amount of control um, to keep them from bad delinquent behaviors <laughs> um, and, and irresponsible spending and things like that. You can really set nice parameters on, on a trust. You can also do distributions over time, which um, you know we all know that kids that inherit lots and lots of money are often um, quick to spend it because, you know, uh, a fool and his money are soon parted, right? That old, that old statement, right? Um, the, a trust would allow you to give them a certain amount of money every year over time, along with your house and, and other things. So um, when it comes to divorce and, and taking care of that estate planning, please think of me as that last stop of the train. And I'd be happy to answer questions at any stop along the way. So Heidi Thompson, what's the best life guarding. Way to, perfect. What, what's the best way to get a hold of you? Okay, so probably the easiest thing, if you want to check out um, material about this, get your questions answered, do some free downloads, um, you can go to my website, www.lifeguardinglegacies.com. You can email me, info at lifeguardinglegacies.com, or you can call me at 602-529-1827. Heidi, it sounds like um, you, you could almost break down each one of those options 
into an entire segment. So, sure. so maybe we can coordinate that we can do this again and have you back on Friday, um, another Friday in the future, if, if you're, I would if you're building. That. Absolutely. Okay. Um, it's, it's real special to be able to have you here today. So um, just kind of in closing, everyone have a, a beautiful day. Thank you for taking a few minutes to, um, to listen to our video, our Facebook Live. Again, all these are on my YouTube channel. Please subscribe. Um, I also push them out to all the different social media sources. So you can please try to find me over on LinkedIn, Pinterest, Instagram, you name it. Um, it's, I have all the different platforms set up. Um, I just, it, again, in closing, I had a question asked of me yesterday by one of my customers. And there's a lot of things that I've done in the last 60 to 90 days to add value for my realtor partners and my loan officer partners. And I would appreciate the opportunity to either do a Zoom call or meet in person, whatever is best for you, but just sit down and go over the different options and how marketing has changed over the last 60 to 90 days is pretty dramatic. So um, I, please put me to work if you don't have a relationship with a, a rep here at Pioneer Title. I'd love to be that person. Again, I can be reached at 602-715-5704. I'll put my business card underneath this video. So please feel free to message me or call me, text me, whatever's best for you. And just have a beautiful day. And um, again, on behalf of everyone over at Pioneer, just thank you so much for choosing us. I know that we have 139 title companies doing business in Maricopa County. So um, every time you choose to work with us, it's a really big deal. So thank you so much. And again, beautiful day.